Okay, so we are on the technical charts now. Let us have a look and see how was the energy and momentum of the markets for yesterday. Okay, so let us start off with the US dollar index. Again, um, during yesterday's market anal analysis, I remember we were looking at the market somewhere like this, where the US dollar, as uh, everyone can see by now, has been bearish and it was uh, finding some support on this Wednesday Wednesday evening okay and yesterday when I was uh, doing analysis the US dollar index was around here I believe I mentioned that it could come down to test this support again okay so uh, true enough um, the US dollar index actually came back down at about you can see the time again below 1400 1400 plus 5 hours it is 1900 hours at 7 p.m okay local Singapore Malaysia time the US dollar weakens back not only to touch this support again which was drawn on the previous day okay but in fact it uh, touched it consolidated for a few hours and then continued to weaken even further okay so the main move started at 7 p.m local Singapore and Malaysia time and of course when we look at the UK pound the UK pound was also finding some resistance okay previously on a Wednesday we found resistance at these levels and was uh, moving down as the US dollar was uh, slightly recovering towards uh, Wednesday evening and also on Thursday morning okay so for the UK pound as we can see again um, weakening on uh, Wednesday and towards uh, yesterday it was moving down from in the morning at 300 hours plus 5, 8 o'clock in the morning. Coming down from <clears throat> 1.2571 all the way to 1.2536. Okay, so the Asian trading cycle, it came down about 37 pips. Excuse me. Okay, so of course, after coming back down in the morning, it went quiet for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, about 6 hours and only towards um, towards this one 900 hours 900 you can see below again the time 9 plus 5 is 14 which is 2 p.m local singapore and malaysia time the uk pound continues to drop another 31 pips okay so from the morning morning move moving down it uh, and and uh, of course uh, continued by the afternoon session the uk pound moved down a total of about 72 pips okay only then it did uh, had a slight recovery okay towards uh, the afternoon session move up about 71 pips and towards uh, this one this candle you can see the time below 1600 plus 5 is 21 which will be 21 which will be 9 p.m okay at 9 p.m um, it starts to push up strongly pushing up about 100 uh, more than 100 pips okay from 9 p.m pushes up to this tip here 1.2633 going up 104 pips okay and of, of course um, when you look at this at this uh, set of candles the actual move actually came over here where this uh, this candle was quite bullish okay moving up from 1.2530 all the way until 1.2579 and this one happened at uh, you can see the time below 1400 plus 5 is 19 again is at 7 p.m the uk pound strengthened as the okay as the us dollar weakened over here this one okay 1400 same same time so yeah that was for the us dollar and for the uk pound and of course uh, later on today tonight we will have the us non-farm payrolls data so currently you can see that after the uk pound weakened in the Asian trading session and also part of the UK trading session it uh, was bu bullish again all the way until the end of the US trading session okay as of this morning it is currently hanging around this uh, previous resistance again which we, we drew over here previously okay and currently for yesterday it's uh, still consolidating below this level of 1.2612 okay so that was the US dollar and also the UK pound. Let's have a look at the Euro dollar. Euro dollar again, uh, you know, deserves some mention here because it's, it's yesterday was the 
eight consecutive day that is going it has gone up so yesterday was the fourth so one day two days three days four days five days six days seven days eight days okay so as you can see um, if you draw your lines correctly it represents a very nice uptrend bullish uptrend all the way and for yesterday again um, the euro dollar was pretty quiet in the asian trading session and also the european trading session however again when you look at this big candle it's a one hour chart the time below is 1400 okay so 1400 again you can see that well it happens to touch this line along the way and it continues to bounce up okay so from 1.1199 it goes up all the way until okay it goes up all the way until 1.1360 okay going up about 150 pips in one two three four five hours okay so this was the bullish move of the euro dollar yesterday as the us dollar weakened also you know the us dollar also weakened in two cycles this is the first one and this was the second one okay so there you have it this is for the us dollar the uk pound and also the <clears throat> euro dollar so currently you can also see that the euro dollar has gone quiet okay just like the us dollar and also the uk pound <clears throat> excuse me so uh, those are for currencies let's have a look at uh, oh by the way you mentioned you want to have a look at the calendar yesterday's economic calendar was uh, mostly on the ecb the main event yesterday the european central bank so of course uh, the developments or the outcome for the meeting was also relatively positive for the euro dollar and of course knowing that the us dollar was going down that is one of the main reasons why the euro dollar moved up 150 pips within five hours okay so in other words it was a double double factor double boost to the euro dollar where the us dollar was weak and also the euro was strong okay so um, that meeting was at 7 45 pm and of course we can see the euro dollar starting to move up at about 7 pm also okay and at 8 30 pm yesterday was the unemployment claims data over here we can see market was ex markets was expecting about 1.82 million headcount okay us citizens to file for unemployment claims actual figures came in at 1.877 so possibly could be this and could be a com combination of small other smaller factors that uh, continue to weaken the us dollar okay so these are the other data coming out yesterday okay so you, the crude oil prices didn't uh, react much yesterday was pretty quiet going sideways okay let's have a look at gold prices now so for gold prices again um, we need to know where the prices came from so when i mentioned where it came from it means that last wednesday Onwards, it was going up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so on Wednesday, you can see that gold prices found a very strong resistance and came down from 1,745 levels all the way down to a low of over here 1,689. Over here, the figure is over here on the right. Okay, 1,689. So the US. Ah, sorry the gold prices has came down about 54 us dollars and on wednesday early morning as it closes it stabilizes and for yesterday we can see that the morning uh, the asian trading cycle was it was going up okay going up about seven dollars in the uk trading cycle again it's going up about 19 us dollars okay so throughout uh, yesterday i would say that um, although you can see that it's largely going up but it was a choppy and what i considered as a consolidating channel going up okay of course it's not a white channel as we can see in some of the other channels that you draw okay along the lines but because this was only within like a few hours so the channel on the h1 will look pretty narrow okay so you need to expand to the 15 or 30 minutes to actually see a proper channel okay like this But of course, uh, when you use 30 minutes or 15 minutes to, to analyze the charts, it will become pretty, pretty erratic and move pretty quickly. Okay. So rather than doing that, I'm still using a H1 chart 
However, I try to anticipate the range of movement, which is mostly sideways. So when I mention sideways, it is referring to events like this um, over here, this one at about uh, 1300, which is plus 518 at about, which is 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. local Malaysia and Singapore time. Gold prices continues the last push up after it's going up for one, two, three hours. Okay, so technically gold prices started from here at about 10 hundred hours from a price of 1700 goes up initially about $14 to a high of about 1715 and then it pushes down <clears throat> to a low of about 1705 okay so this is what I mean by consolidating goes up about $15 comes down okay from here comes down to here comes down about uh, almost $10 and then it goes up again another $12 and then from the high, it comes down again, another $14. Okay, and then it goes up again from 1700 again from this um, original launch launch price. Okay, and it goes up again. Okay, but this time the last last move up was pretty, uh, was the last cycle already, which is pretty good already because gold prices give us like uh, one cycle up. Okay, one cycle down. So that's two already. And the third cycle up. Okay. And also the fourth cycle down and also the fifth cycle up okay so altogether gold gave us about five cycles of about ten ten dollars movement okay ten dollars up ten dollars down ten dollars up ten dollars down up and down all the way okay so as of this morning gold prices uh, remains uh, relatively weak okay uh, coming down from 1715 to a low of about 1707 okay so these are some of the chart patterns and momentum and movements that happened yesterday. Oil prices are still pretty quiet. Okay, oil prices are still pretty quiet. Um, not moving much. Yesterday was only trading within a range from a low to a high of about one dollar and eighteen cents. Okay, so that's pretty, uh, pretty narrow range. Currently in the morning session, it's just going up a bit, so nothing exciting for oil at the moment. I would say. Um, this is reflected also on the USD Canadian dollar. Okay, so we can see that as oil price has gone quiet, okay, the Canadian dollar also has been consolidating for one day, two days, three days. Okay, so this kind of shows not only the correlation, but it shows that the US, uh, sorry, the Canadian dollar and also the oil prices are still relatively quiet. Okay. Um, most likely, if anything was to move the oil prices or even the Canadian dollar, would probably be tonight's uh, non-farm payroll news. If not, it will be this weekend's uh, OPEC meeting, which is scheduled, I believe, for this weekend. And you will see more movements only on Monday or next week. Okay. So that is for oil prices and also for the Canadian dollar. And of course, when you go to the S&P 500, again, uh, most equities and uh, indices all around the world is on a bullish trend okay same for s p 500 as again as mentioned i believe i mentioned this yesterday also the trend is pretty clear and pretty um pretty clear and the behavior of equities and indices are such that once it decides on a direction it will normally trend in that in that direction for many days or weeks okay so currently um it's been going up since let's say since Okay, it's been going up recently from uh, April, sorry, from 14th of May all the way until currently. Okay, so it's like uh, almost about three weeks already. Okay, so that is how we get to know the markets better as a trader and also whether you're a trader or whether you're an observer. Okay, and of course, uh, these are the chart patterns. I hope if you follow, follow the daily videos every day, uh, every single day we'll be looking at um, different types of news, events, the results of the news, and also the how the markets moved and reacted in terms of the energy, the momentum, and the sentiment. Okay, so let me see. Is there anything else that uh, I need to bring up? Okay, by the way, guys, um, after listening to these videos, whether it's this uh, technical analysis or the news updates, if you guys or girls have any questions regarding any aspects of what I'm sharing. Uh, please please ask your questions I would appreciate some feedback so that I know that uh, whether you you guys are 
are able to follow and absorb what I'm sharing? Or is it that uh, you guys are not clear, you all need some clearer explanation or understanding? Okay, so please drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So again, um, watch out for this afternoon and of course for this evening's uh, market movements as the non-farm payrolls data will definitely have a have some impact on the markets. Okay, so have a good day ahead and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye-bye.